Lennon is alive. Lennon. Every feature of his animated face is very valuable to contemporaries and future generations. His personality forever will be remembered by many generations. Unique frames collected in this film tell the present the separate instances of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin's life. This year the spring was late, and Moscow streets still were covered with snow. The celebration of the 1st of May began with a parade of workers and the Young Red Army. The leader of National Commissars Vladimir Ilyich Lenin with Nades to Krupskaya and Maria Elinikna Olyanova were present at the Army Parade on Kadensky Field. During the meeting at Mendelssohn plant, in August of 1918 year was attempted Lenin's life. All workers of our country, with hope and worries expected recovery of their lovable leader. Lenin's strong health won the fight with the death. Then came minutes when Lenin at the first time could come for a walk in Kremlin. Vladimir Dmitrievich Bonchbruievich accompanied Lenin on his walk. Enemies of the Young Republic spread out a gossip that Lenin's life in danger. Millions of Soviet people did not believe in this news. So they wanted to see Ilyich. At first Lenin did not want to be filmed. But when he learned about workers' desire to see him, he agreed. For the first anniversary of October was opened a monument of Marx and Engels. At the meeting Lenin presented the crowd with a speech about the worthwhile contribution of Marx and Engels to the Russian Revolution. Marx and Engels scientifically proved the crush of the capitalism and the victory of communism. They also directed proletariat of all countries. Appointed their roles to rise and unite against capital.
in March of 1919 year. In Petrograd died the first commissar of railways, Mark Elizrov, husband of Lenin's sister. Vladimir Ilyich shared long years of friendship with Elizrov and common revolutionary activities. Vladimir Ilyich came from Moscow to attend the funeral and support his sister Anna Ilyinishna. On March 18, Russian workers said goodbye to the closest ally of Lenin, a chairman of all Russian Central Executive Committee Yakov Mikhailovich Sverdlov. It was a national grief for a lost hero. Lenin presented a speech. We said goodbye to the leader who made so much for organizing the working class for the victory. Endless memory to our comrades were love. On his grave we swear on continuation of fight against capitalism and the victory of workers. Addressing the workers of 1st of May parade, Lenin said, Till now people only dreamed about the future of our children. Therefore, comrades you can see that the basis that we constructed, will serve for creating a socialist society, and it is not an utopia, our children will build it even with a greater effort. After the parade ended, Lenin as always surrounded with people and had a conversation with Zagorsky. In Moscow was held the first Congress of more than school education. The camera captured Lenin with Nades de Krupskaya and Anatoly Vasilyevich Lunakarsky among the delegates of the Congress meeting. The year of 1919 was extremely difficult for the Soviet Republic. The Soviet Republic was in a long civil war, and the party called civil people to join the fight for the gains of the October Revolution. On May 25, in 1919 on the Red Square, was held a parade of workers of the military schools and colleges who had just accomplished their military preparation in 96 hours. To supervise the parade came the head of the Soviet country and the leader of the labor defense Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. He was accompanied by a Hungarian Soviet Republic comrade Tiber Samuele. Lenin inspected the soldiers and then climbed on a track, which substituted for Tribune. Addressing the future members of the army, Lenin said, Today we are celebrating a national day of the civil military training. 
Until today, the military affairs were used by the capitalists and upper class to exploit the proletariat. But the aristocracy will collapse when the workers and farmers will take rifles in their hands and will begin to establish a strong and vast army of the proletariat. Then, they will begin to educate themselves for the purpose of their war, such as defense of the workers and farmers, factories and plants, so capitalists will never be able to return their power back. After his speech, Lenin introduced Hungarian comrade Tiber Samuele who assured the crowd with solidarity from the Hungarian working class. The participants of the parade demonstrated their readiness for action and skills to defense the Soviet Republic against the working class enemies. The Soviet Republic struggled in the conflict with Denikin Army, which was approaching Moscow. To say farewell to the leaving army, Lenin addressed the public from a balcony of Mosoviet building. The gramophone record preserved Lenin's speech to the Red Army. Soldiers of the Red Army Capitalists of England, France and America lead the war against the Soviet Republic. They support with money and weapon Russian aristocracy, which guides the fight from Siberia, Don, and North Caucasus. Willing to re-establish power of the Tsar and aristocracy. No, it is impossible. The Red Army is unconquerable, because it united millions of farmers and workers who had learned about fighting, collective discipline, failure at the previous battles where they have learned to be stronger and braver fighting against the enemies. It was the second anniversary of the October Socialist Revolution. On the Red Square in Moscow were conducted labor demonstration and soldier parade. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin was with the people celebrating the greatest public holiday. The strong steps of the Red Army soldiers marching reminded of the unbeatable strength of the young republic, and that justice will finally succeed.
confident steps of the new Soviet Republic attracted interest from the capitalist world. At this office in Gremlin, with the same interior preserved to the present day, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin met government and party members. Delegations from factories and plants, scientists, villagers and visitors from abroad. In the mid-February, an American correspondent visited Lenin from one of the New York newspapers. His name was Lincoln Air. The correspondent came with Victor Case, a cameraman, who recorded this meeting. The conversation was held in English in Lenin's office. Then Lenin was asked to be filmed at more casual circumstances, at home. So, they continued their conversation at Lenin's small and modest apartment, which was not too far from Lenin's office. Lenin's wife and his younger sister Maria Ilnishina shared the same apartment. On the first May celebration in 1920 in Moscow at Sverdlov Square, the first monument of Karl Marx was created. Lenin presented at the event signed a memorial plaque for the monument. Vladimir Ilyich personally laid a fist brick at the base of the monument. At the same day on former Prechistinskaya Navrajnya, now Kropotkinskaya. Lenin was present at another monument commence of freed trade work. At this place before was a monument of Tsar, said Vladimir Ilyich. But now we are commencing a monument of freed trade work. The workers of Red Petrograd welcomed dear delegates of world proletariat. The members of two Congress of Communist International. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin came for the opening of the Congress together with Moscow delegates.
In Ritsky Palace at the first meeting of the Second Congress, Lenin gave a speech about international climate and the key concerns of the Communist International. His ideas gave the direction to the Communist International. Facilitated unity among world proletariat, for freedom of working class from slavery and servitude. At the opening day of the Congress the workers of Petrograd gathered in front of the palace. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin addressed the crowd. The Congress members continued their work in Moscow. Lenin as a chairman led the assembly. In a year in Moscow was next third Comintern Congress. The Congress was at the Big Gremlin Palace. Lenin came after the meeting began. And he did not want to interrupt the assembly sat at the steps attentively listening to the speakers. Lenin was completely mesmerized by the creative atmosphere of the Congress. But always ready to speak forward, to argue his opinion and to persuade. At the Third Congress Lenin presented the material about the tactics of RCPB. Italian issue one tactic of the Comintern. On this day in Gremlin, American economist Christensen visited Ilyich. This film was discovered recently and it is considered to be one of the last films of Lenin. Lenin Every feature of his animated face is very valuable to contemporaries and future generations. His personality forever will be remembered by many generations.
we knew him as he is here. We remember him. Memories about him will live forever in our hearts.